Hey everybody, Sharon here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in Tunic going for the thank you for playing achievement. This one's going to be the big one. It is to find every single manual page. There's going to be a total of 28 in the game. Just like with the other collectibles, I'm going to recommend you try to do this after having the dash as it's going to help you get around the map way smoother. Nonetheless, we're going to start out in the starting area. We're going to go straight and then up the steps and then we're going to rendezvous over at the first save point, which is going to be at the top of the initial flights of stairs right here. From here, we're going to take a left down this flight of stairs and then across this drawbridge. There should be a key right here. Make sure you pick that up. It's going to be a pretty important key early on in the game as we would normally have to grab this in order to open up the door to get to the forest, which is going to be where we find the sword normally. So make sure you definitely grab the key this time and then make sure you bring it over to the locked door, which is going to be at the foot of this staircase right here. And then just make sure you use it to open up the door and this is going to be the tunnel that connects the central part of the map to the eastern part of the map but the first page is going to be in this room right here so it's going to be right here smack dab in the middle can't miss it to pick up a page all you have to do is just make sure you click on it and then make sure you pick ok and you should stash it away in your inventory and then we can move on to the next one from here we're going to take the opposite exit out and then that should put us over here at the eastern part of the map we are going to take the series of ladders to get up. Once we get to the top of this set of cliffs and stairs and ladders, we're going to want to hang a right and then head into the forest. So it's going to be in this direction. We're going to start out at the foot of the eastern bell tower. The next manual page is going to be right here directly underneath the tower. So make sure you pick that one up. Once we have that one, we are going to continue like we normally would on our way to get the sword. So just make sure you wrap around the corner. That is going to eventually take you to a hole that you're going to drop down. And then once you continue on past this point, you should reach the forest. Once we are in the forest, we're going to keep pushing forward until we get to the fast travel station. So as long as you stay on the main path, you should be able to see it. It's going to be a giant yellow square. Hard to miss. The next manual page is going to be directly on top of it. While you are here, I'm going to recommend you activate the fast travel station as fast traveling is going to be a big time saver as it is in every video game. Now, we are also going to need to have the fast travel station activated because we are going to need to head over to the fast travel hub as that's going to be where our next manual page is. So make sure you hold the A button and you should teleport in to the fast travel hub. You're going to need the dash to get back to the central part. Then you're also going to need to use the dash to get to the bottom teleport pad, which is going to teleport you to the starting area. Now, if you don't have the dash, you are going to have to use the specific teleport pad at the starting area on the overworld side and then pick it up right here. So make sure you take care of that. But nonetheless, the manual page is going to be directly in front of the teleport pad in the hub side. So once you have that, I'm going to recommend you try to teleport back as we're going to grab the rest of the pages right here in the overworld. So from the fast travel station at the starting point, we're going to head back up the stairs all the way back to the first save point. Once we are back here, we're going to take a left back down the stairs and then across the drawbridge. We are then going to get past these shrubs right here. And then we're going to take the ladder down to the area in front of the old house. There's going to be a, another fast travel station right here. So make sure you grab the manual page on top of that. And I'm going to highly recommend you activate it so you can fast travel here in the future. So make sure you take care of this one. And then we're going to stay on this side of the overworld, which is going to be the western side. You want to make sure you head down towards the waterfront, so make sure you take those ramps down, and then once you hit the water, make sure you follow it along until you get to this area right here. You're going to have the one in the middle of the fountain that also requires the dash, so make sure you use the dash to dash in the middle, and then make sure you pick this one up. Obviously, if you don't have the dash yet, you're going to have to wait until the late game when you do have it and then come back here. Once you have that, we're going to get back and then we're going to stand in front of this door. Make sure you punch in this code on the D-pad. It's going to be down, right, up, left, up, right. That should crack the door open if you punch that in correctly. And then once you have access to the hidden room, make sure you head on inside. And then we're going to head forward and then our next page is going to be right here. So make sure you grab that off of the pedestal.
Now, once you have that one, we're going to leave the secret area. So just make sure you head back the way you came, obviously, and then make sure you get back to the overworld. We're going to go over here and then down this flight of stairs. Then you're going to want to turn right here, and then we're going to look for a ladder that takes us down to the beach. So make sure you take that ladder down. To get to where we need to get going next, we need to head behind the waterfall. So make sure you take a turn right here, go behind the waterfall, and then pop out on the other side. You should be on the opposite beach, and we're going to follow the coastline until we get to our next manual page right here underneath the bridge. Make sure you pick that one up, and that should take care of another one. So once again, we're going to head back the way we came. So just follow the beach back, back behind the waterfall and then up the ladder. This area with the enemies right here is going to contain a key. You want to make sure you pick up that key whenever you can. This is going to be the key to get into the old house. Make sure you grab that and then take it back to unlock the old house. The old house is going to be up the stairs and then down to the waterfront, up the ramps and then staying at this elevation. We're going to go past the fast travel station and then head head over to the ladder that you would normally take to get up to the windmill. So it's going to be right here. Make sure you use that key to this door. That's what it corresponds to. Unlock it and then you should get access to the old house. And then once you are in here, we're going to look for the next page in the back room. So make sure you take the staircase to this back hallway. Make sure you follow the hallway until you get to this area where you would normally get the shield. You are going to have to hit this switch to get the gate open. But once you do get that thing open, the page is going to be located in a room behind here. So make sure you do that. You're going to get to another locked door. Make sure you punch in this code on the d-pad up right down left down right that should pop this one open and then inside here is going to be your next page it's going to be a quick jump forward and then right here in the darkness so pick that one up and that should take care of the old house page once we have this one, we're going to be free to leave the old house, so you can pretty much figure out how to get back. But once you are back out in the overworld, take the ladder back up to the windmill. We're going to head back across the drawbridge. Don't go up the stairs quite just yet. Instead, you want to make sure you go behind the trees, which is going to take you behind the small waterfall right here. And this is going to eventually wrap you around to this area. Just keep following the cliff face until you get to this drawbridge. And that's going to put you right here at the entrance of the old tomb. We're not going to go there quite just yet. Instead, we're going to keep following the water until we get down here. Wrap around here and you should be able to take this plank over to this area. There's going to be another manual page on this island that also requires the dash, so make sure you have that handy with you. Of course, if you don't have it yet, you can always come back here later in the late game, but make sure you dash onto the island and then grab that manual page. Once you have this one, make sure you dash back to the mainland, and there's going to be another one in this area, so just make sure you try to get back and then look for it up here. We're going to keep heading up. Feel free to lower this bridge, or you can use the dash to get across. Doesn't really matter. We're going to head to the entrance of the underground right here and then to the right of that is going to be your next manual page and of course you can feel free to lower the bridge to connect this area back to the windmill area that being said while we are here we're not going to return quite just yet to the middle instead we're going to head underground so make sure you take the ladder into the giant gaping hole and then we're going to have a couple in here that we need to look for. So try your best to pay attention as it's very easy to get lost in the darkness. But make sure you take the series of ladders down until you get to this particular elevation. Once you are here, we're going to turn and then we're going to head this way. It's going to be down the staircase and then wrapping around to head through this entrance. Once you are over here, we're going to then turn save point right here if you want to save the game, but make sure you head into this entrance. Make sure you take a sharp left and then your next manual page is going to be right here. So make sure you pick that one up. And then once we have that, we're going to stay in the sewers. You want to make sure you cross the water and then head through this entrance right over here. Once you are here, we're going to head up and then dash across here. Hopefully you have that bridge down if you don't have the dash. Otherwise, you are going to have to take the long way to get up here. But nonetheless, just make it into this room with the rail. 
Once you see the rail, make sure you hang a left and then make sure you exit out of this entrance. That should put you on this side. Make sure you follow the wall until you get over here into this corner. Once you see the enemies, just make sure you head down. And then once you are here, we're going to wrap around and then we're going to end up through this entrance. Once you are here, we're going to cross this bridge and then we're going to turn left right here. Once you are in this room, make sure you take the ladder up. And then once you are here, we're going to wrap around until we get back to the rail. And then we're going to hang a right and then we're going to turn right here. And this is going to take us into this room. It's going to have another lever that we need to unlock. So make sure you do that. And then we're going to head into the next room, which is going to have another save point. But more importantly, it's going to have our next manual page right over here. Once you have this ladder secured, you're going to want to take this ladder next to you up. This is going to put you at the entrance of the dark tomb. Now you can go through the dark tomb in order to get to where we need to get going next, which is going to be the entrance of the West Garden. You can also take the overworld there if you have all of the bridges lowered or if you have the dash. Just pick whatever route makes you feel the most comfortable. Nonetheless, you are trying to get to the western side of the overworld and to the entrance of the West Garden. So as long as you can make it there in one piece without getting too lost, you should be good for our next page, which is going to be located in the Western Garden. So just make sure you keep heading there. If you do choose to go through the Dark Tomb, you're going to end up at the entrance that's going to be closer to the manual page. However, both sides will get you here. So what you want to do is want to make sure you wrap around here and then you're going to get to the foot of this staircase. Make sure you go around it instead of going up it. And then we're going to take this plank across the water. Then we're going to take this overturned pillar across this body of water and then we're going to head underneath the path. The temple should be right here. We're going to go past that save point right here as a reference from here. You want to make sure you go straight. You can use the dash to get across here if you want to save yourself a little bit of time. If you don't have the dash or want to take the normal way, you can follow the path right here. And then eventually this should wrap around back to this area. And then we're just going to wrap around here. And then the manual page is going to be right here here on this ledge right here make sure you grab that one and that should take care of that now as for the second page that can be found in the west garden this one is going to be a little complicated this one is going to require the dash however it's going to require you to power up the fast travel station first so that's going to require you to activate the area's obelisks so quickest way to do that is to head south and then make sure you wrap around until you hit the mainland. Once you get here, make sure you follow this very specific path until you get to the bridge. Once you are here, make sure you head over this way and then you should be on this island. Make sure you get onto this one and then make sure you take the ramp up to the X shaped intersection. Hang a right that should take you back to the rail and the next save point. The obelisk is going to be right here. You need to make sure you get onto the staircase and then head up. Make sure you stand next to it and then hold the A button to activate it. That should extend the rail past this boundary. And then on the other side is going to be the fast travel station. Now, whenever you do have the dash, you're going to want to use any fast travel station to get to the fast travel hub and then make sure you fast travel to that specific fast travel station. So we're going to head to our nearest other fast travel station. So make sure you head back to the overworld, most likely, and then hit up any one of the fast travel stations here. So either the one in front of the old house or the one back at the starting area. And then once we are at the hub, we're going to use the one that takes us over to the West Gardens. And that one is going to be the one that's going to be in the middle left. So make sure you take this one right here and that should put you directly where you need to get going, which is going to be that fast travel station. Then we're going to use our dash to get across these pillars right here. That should take us behind the wall. And then right here is going to be our next manual page. Make sure you pick it up in the corner and that should take care of one of the more complicated ones. So make sure you put that one away and then it's going to be on our way back to the fast travel station in order to get to where we need to get going next, which is going to be the next manual page. So make sure you use the fast travel station and hub to get back to the overworld. You can pick either one of the teleports. We're going to be pretty much wrapped up with the western side of the map. So we're going to start tackling the eastern side. So as a reference, we're going to head back to the middle and then we're going to make our way over to the eastern side of the overworld. So we're going to head down and then we're going to head down the staircase until we get to the foot of the stairs. This is going to be next to the cave where we got the stick at the start of the game instead of heading left to go to the stick cave we're going to hang a right 
Once you make that turn, you're going to want to keep going until you can take the series of ladders to head up to the cliffside. Make sure you keep going up, it should be all familiar at this point. You're going to head past the compass statue and then up this flight of stairs that should put you on the path that would take you over to the forest. Instead of heading in that direction, we're going to go left and then up this ramp right here. Right in the middle of this square is going to be your next manual page. Make sure you grab that. And then once we take care of that, we are going to need the dash to get the next one. So hopefully you come back here once you have the dash and we're going to use said dash to get across the bridge right here. That's going to be broken. That is going to take you into the mouth of this skull. And then inside here is going to be a shopkeep. Also, what's going to be inside here is going to be your next manual page. So make sure you grab that and then quickly turn around and then make sure you go back outside. Once you are back outside, it's going to be back across the gap and then back onto the main road. I'm going to recommend that you activate the lever to get the shortcuts to the center area. So make sure you do that. That should save you a bunch of time getting back and forth between the middle and the eastern part of the map. So make sure you pop this ladder over here. But nonetheless, once you have that taken care of, we're going to wrap around the staircase and then head further up. So just make sure you go behind here and then you should be able to finagle yourself over to where the bridge is. Once you are there, we're going to head to our next location, which is going to be over here. We're going to hang a left and then we're going to head north. You can lower this bridge or you can dash across if you have the dash available to you. But once you get to the mountainside, make sure you take the ladder up and then we're going to take the series of ladders up to get to the tippy top of the map right here so just make sure you head left and then make sure you go past the staircase we will be back here later but we're going to go to the upper left corner of the overworld which is going to be over here there is going to be a giant gold monument right here that you would normally get the magic rod from stand in front of the golden monument and make sure you punch this code in using the d-pad up left down right down left up right that should spawn in the page make sure you grab it and that should take care of the one up here in this corner once you have this one taken care of we're going to head back down the way we came so make sure you head back to the right and then down the series of ladders until we get back to the bottom of the mountainside right here Make sure you head down the path, and then once you get to the square, make sure you turn and then head into the entrance of the eastern vault. Once you are inside, we're going to need to grab the next few. Hopefully you have everything activated. So get that obelisk turned on if you don't have it already. Make sure you follow the rail, and then make sure you follow it to the left. This is going to be where the left obelisk was. Once you get it open, you are able to grab the next page right here. It's going to be next to the entrance to the underground of the Eastern Vault. So make sure you pick that one up. Hopefully you have everything in the Eastern Vault done as you are going to have to head inside. And it's going to be quite arduous to have to do this. It is going to be part of the story, so make sure you do take care of it. But nonetheless, your goal is to try to access the other side of the water right here. So if you are coming back here, you can just use the dash to get across. And then you are going to need to turn all the obelisks and stuff on in front in order to get access to the actual vault. So make sure you head inside once all that's taken care of. Make sure you go left past the staircase room into this area with this obelisk right here. Once you take care of the enemies and the obelisk, you want to make sure you head up the ramp. Make sure you wrap around the balcony towards the left and then you can grab the next page right here on the ledge. Once you have this one, feel free to leave the Eastern Vault. Hopefully you have the fast travel station available as walking back is going to be quite the journey. Nonetheless, your goal is to head back to the overworld by any means, so either walk back or fast travel back. If you have the fast travel station available at the library, I'm going to recommend you take that. If not, you are going to have to head there manually. So make sure you head over to the fast travel station directly under the old house. And we're going to need to make our way over to the ruined atoll. To get there, make sure you head down to the waterfront and then make sure you keep heading down. Make sure you take the stairs down and then just follow the rail until you get to the broken bridge and then just use your dash or grapple to get across 
and then make sure you take this into the ruined atoll. Or you can fast travel here if you have that fast travel station available to you. Nonetheless, once you are here and you do need access to the library, you are going to have to activate all four obelisks in each one of the cardinal directions. So make sure you do that. That is basically going to allow you to use the elevator in the middle of the area, which is going to take you up to the great library. So make sure you take care of that. This all is going to be part of the main story. So hopefully you have this taken care of already. And then just make sure you take the elevator up to the library. You're going to need to get inside like you normally would. So make sure you use your grapple or your dash to take care of that. But once you do find the entrance, make sure you head on inside. You're going to head inside and then take this ladder down. Hopefully you have all the bad guys in the area taken care of. But what you want to do is you want to make your way over to the upper left where you can take this flight of stairs up and then take the ladder into the circular hallway. And that's going to lead you to another ladder that's going to take you into the fast travel room. So make sure you head there. Of course, you can save all of this time if you just fast travel straight to the fast travel room. So make sure you take note of that if you do have that available to you. Now, with all that being said, this room is going to be a gold mine for pages. So make sure you try to grab them. They are all going to be behind glass. So you are going to have to break the glass open in order to get access to them. But there is going to be three. There's one by the blackboard on the left, one by the staircase right here off to the left. And then the third and final one in the library is going to be up here towards the right. That should take care of everything we need out of the library. While we are in the fast travel room, feel free to use the actual fast travel station. Of course, you have to activate it first. But once you do, make sure you use it to teleport. And then once you get over to the hub, we're going to head over to the starting area. So make sure you head down and then make the jump back over here where we started the game. Now, once we do get back to the overworld, we're going to head up and then get to the foot of the stairs. Make sure you hang a right. This is going to be heading in the direction of the cemetery. You are going to need the dash to get this next one, so make sure you use it to get over to where the obelisk is. Feel free to activate it if you want to. We aren't going to need to be going to the actual cemetery nor the cathedral to get any pages. So just use the dash to get onto this pillar and then grab the page right here. Picking this one up is going to leave us with four remaining in the game. So we're going to head back to the main area. So make sure you dash back onto the bridge, back across. And then once you are here, we're going to take the series of ladders up to get back up to where we need to get going, which is going to be taking the eastern side of the overworld north. So make sure you keep heading up. Make sure you go past the compass statue. Take a left once you get to the forest entrance and then make sure you wrap around the staircase to get over to the bridge. Once you are here, we're going to continue north to the mountain face. So make sure you hang a left and keep going up. And then you want to take the series of ladders up all the way to the tippy top of the map. If you remember that staircase from earlier, we're going to take that up. It's going to take us to the mountain pass. So once you are there, just make sure you go all the way to the top of the mountain. It's a pretty linear path, so you shouldn't get lost. So just make sure you get to the top. And then once you are here, there's going to be a page right over here at the summit. So make sure you pick that one up. And then we're going to have three left in the game. The next one is also going to be on the summit of the mountain. It's going to require that we open up the mountain gate, which is going to require this doozy of a code. So hopefully you can punch this in without messing up. It's going to be up, left, down, left, up, left, down, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right, up, up, left, up, right, down, right, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, right, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, right, down, left, down, left, down, right, down, right, down, left, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, right, down, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, left, up, left, up, right, right, up, left, up, 
So hopefully you can enter in all of that in the right order without any incidents. And that should unlock the mountain gate, which is going to allow you to proceed higher up the summit. So make sure you take the stairs up, which is going to take you to this structure. And then just make sure you get to the summit of this. And then once you get to the tippy top, you're going to be able to grab your next page. It's going to be right here in all of its glory. So make sure you grab that. This particular page is going to be pretty special as it is going to be the front cover of the manual. So you can enjoy that if you want to. But once you have that in your hands, it's time to go for the last two pages. The next page is going to have a prerequisite to it, which is to find 10 of the fairies. Now there's an achievement to find 20 of the fairies in order to get secret item number seven. So you are going to get this on your way to get that specific achievement. So this particular collectible is going to require that you complete half a set of another type of collectible. For more information, you can check out our guide for that one. So just make sure you look up our secret item number seven guide, which is going to be for the achievement Spring Falls. But nonetheless, while working on that achievement, as soon as you hit the halfway point, which is going to be 10 fairies, feel free to head into the fairy room behind the waterfall. And then once you are in here, the page is going to spawn at the fairy fountain. Just make sure you pick it up. Again, this is going to require that you have rescued 10 fairies. And then once you have that one, that is going to take care of the back cover of the manual. And that's just going to leave us with one more page, which requires us to get past the golden door. If the golden door is locked on you for whatever reason, you of course can use the speed running trick where you use the ice dagger and the grapple in order to get past the golden door, even if it's locked. So that's going to require that you pull a slime up. Just make sure you go to the bottom of this staircase. Make sure you grab the big slime and then just lead it to the door. You're going to want to freeze it with the ice dagger while it's touching the door and then make sure you use the grapple to knock it behind the door. Once it's out of bounds and right before it unfreezes, you want to make sure you use the grapple again to pull yourself through the door. If you time it right, you should be able to get behind the door even if it's locked and then get access to the central temple and then inside is going to be where the last page is going to be. Of course, if the temple is still open in your game, you can feel free to just walk in the door the normal way. Nonetheless, once you are inside, make sure you head down the hallway into the main room. Once you are here, you want to make sure you head over to the right. You should be able to go behind and then take this ladder up. And this is going to take you up to the balcony. And then right over here is going to be the last page. Make sure you pick that up and then that should be all 28 of them. Once you have the complete manual, you should be good for the achievement and you should also be good to pursue the good ending of the game. There's the achievement. It's going to be for 50 gamer score and that's all there is to it.